You are precious to me. I wrap you in the blanket of my warmth. I am the God of your interiority. Every stitch in the fabrication of the earth I have knitted for your benefit, not for your misappropriation, but to assist you in my discovery. I hold you in the palm of my hand. You need my assistance. I am your support. Without me, the spinal cord to your life's meaning will grow shaky. No human machine has yet managed to even remotely imitate the sacred spirituality of your smile. I touch you with my laughter. I am the god of your interiority. The world holds its breath, asphyxiated by my beauty. Incredibly, I have knitted your complexity for nine months in your mother's womb. You are my yes to the grand design. Tomorrow shall be fine. I frame you for divinity. I am the god of your interiority. Look to me and appropriate my presence. Touch and see to the scent of my hot breath breaking through the trees. Open your eyes. Your world is weaved with threads of enchantment. Turn your gaze to the skies. I will send shafts of my playfulness down like long fingers to touch you in response to your stare. I am always there but for your prayer. Look for me and acknowledge me. That is your duty. I am the god of your interiority. I have sent you fields of flowers, glorious red. I spread a divine tablecloth across the land. I shake my cloths, the envy of artists. Colors fall like crumbs from the table of my plentitude. Look sideways, and you will see cups full of yellow butter among the headed hay. I grace the grasses, too. My presence is everywhere. I am pregnant with billions of mysteries. I need naught but your praise to pour over me like a benediction. Life is lovely, but lonely for me without you. I am the god of your interiority. Acknowledge me. I have sent you trees to supply your lungs with oxygen. I move as rainwater across the skies. I put the earth next to my lips. I coax the ground with love words when I send out my marriage invitation. That is why you have peppers and onions and lettuce and cabbage, too. Look at that bowl of golden oranges. Where did their magnificent coat come from? Did you ever wonder why they are packaged so sumptuously? I spread Advent seed and they break into epiphanies. How 